Hello everyone, it's Rob with R3 Shorts. Yes, I changed my facial hair yet again. But on the plus side, the show Young Frankenstein is going very well. Having never done theater before, this show has been an absolute joy to be a part of. The costumes are great, the talent is great, and they even allowed me the freedom to mimic Inspector Kemp's original accent from the film, to a certain extent as well as make subtle squeaking sounds with my mouth whenever I moved my supposedly wooden arm. However, the facial hair truly is the icing on the cake for this whole character, since it is actually my hair. I started growing the beard from scratch right after landing the part, then shaved it accordingly right before opening night. That way, the audience would not be distracted by an obviously fake beard, and I would not have to repeatedly apply and rip off adhesives every night. <sighs> So, anyway, we've got some information for you, starting with the fact that I got a full-time job. Yay! I got a full-time job in sales, and that is something that I'll be doing throughout the week and keeping the grocery store on the weekends uh, after the Young Frankenstein show is completely done. But uh, I will not be completely swamped to the point where I will not be able to work on content for our three shorts. We do have a couple of things lined up. First off, we will be doing a season two of Control Freaks. I encountered some very wonderful people in the show of Young Frankenstein, particularly the people that play Igor and Dracula. Spoiler alert, there's a Dracula. And a couple of other people who I showed a few episodes of Control Freaks season one, and while it was a little bit low budget, and came across that way on YouTube, they were really stoked to be a part of any future episodes that we do as we refine our process and our writing and our shooting. So we will be expanding on season two of Control Freaks, picking up on the show that's been dead for about three years now, and we will be adding to the cast. Since we moved away from Los Angeles up to Washington, we moved away from our friend Bobby, who was the co-creator of the show, but he will not be completely left out of season two. We will be transitioning him out of the show in a very tasteful way. And um, that is going to be so much fun. We are really looking forward to that. We've already got a couple of great episodes lined up. And even though a lot of you may have come here for the audiobooks, we highly recommend that you check out the show. Whether you're into video games or not, it's going to be a gas. Secondly, we would really like to reiterate the point from the last update video, depressing as it was, that we are not quitting audiobooks. We have to stop the Animorphs audiobooks because Scholastic shut us down, but we are going to be doing public domain audiobooks. Yes, there are already plenty of audiobooks for the classics available on YouTube for free, like Wizard of Oz, Robin Hood, and books like that, but they don't have our R3 Shorts flair. Sound effects, music, ambience, and my sexy voice. We've decided that we're going to do something easy to start out with. Something that's about the same length as an Animorphs audiobook. So we have decided that our first public domain audiobook is going to be a short story from Sherlock Holmes. A Study in Scarlet. That book is about seven chapters as a short story. It's not exactly a novel, and that will give us a, a decent amount of time to work on it. We won't feel rushed. We won't feel completely overloaded with many, many, many pages and chapters. Something short and easy. And we will alternate in the future by doing a short story from Sherlock Holmes and then a full book, like maybe Treasure Island or something. Then go back to another Sherlock Holmes short story, and then maybe Peter Pan... And then a short story, you know, something like that, just to keep it fresh, but then also have the shorter audiobooks for just people whose attention spans don't last as long as War and Peace or Patrick Rothfuss's Name of the Wind. Look that up. It's a thousand pages. So we are really excited to get started on it, and we hope to have that out for you sometime later this year. No deadline, but we're going to do the same thing that we did with book four, which is when it's ready to go, it'll have a trailer with the drop date. So we're sorry we couldn't continue the Animorphs audiobooks, 
but we really hope that you'll be following us as we continue our other audiobooks that are completely public domain and rights free and we won't get in trouble. And by all means, despite all the suggestions and recommendations that we have already been given, if you have an idea for a public domain, rights-free audiobook for us to do, go ahead and drop us a line. Drop us a comment. We've already gotten a lot of recommendations and suggestions from other viewers, but we're always looking for more. Because maybe this book that somebody else recommended would be better released later in the year versus another idea that you have that better fits the theme that we're going with. Who knows? So after Young Frankenstein is over in mid-June, I'm going to be pretty busy doing about 40 to 55 hours of work a week between the full-time job that I have now and the part-time job at the grocery store. They were generous enough to condense my hours and keep me on. So until we get back on track financially, that's where a lot of our focus is going to be. But we will still be working on Sherlock Holmes, A Study in Scarlet, bit by bit by bit, just so that we can have some momentum and just feel like we're producing again. And we're also going to be splitting that time between the audiobooks and control freaks. And it's going to be a little bit hectic. And so we can't promise when either one of those are going to be out, but just stay subscribed, stay with us. And we really do hope to have a great rest of the year for our channel. We hope you enjoyed this really short update video. Please like and subscribe, hit that little bell icon to be notified when Sherlock Holmes lands, and just leave comments telling me how amazing or awkward this facial hair looks. Thank you.